Okay, so I just went to this American Astronomical Society conference and I learned about this amazing thing that I totally didn't know existed, but I probably should and I'm kind of ashamed that I didn't, but it's called FITS files. So FITS files. And it's a special kind of file system that they use for all this telescope data from like Hubble and the JWST and Chandra and all these things that apparently I'm supposed to know exist because you know, science, but I may or may not have been scrolling Reddit instead. But anyway, I wanted to play with it in MATLAB because there's these tools online. Like if you go to like, there's this like thing called, um, let's see, do -do 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 -do. it's called like American Color, the, yeah, creating your astronomical image. I don't know why I went to a private window, that's weird. Um, so you can like go through all this and you can play with filters and color intensities on existing thingies and and anyway and i'm like well that's well and good except i'm a programmer and that means that i'm a crazy person and i want to like you know control everything so clearly this isn't good enough i want to actually code stuff to to do to do this right okay so but that's what this is doing is the Fitz filter is taking this Fitz data and um, doing colors on, um, so like RGB, we'll just RGB and um, doing all this stuff. Okay, so basically you can make these pictures and um, this is a little bit more complicated. I didn't figure out how to do quite this much in MATLAB, but I figured out how to do some of it and I got really excited, so I wanted to share it. Okay, so essentially the first thing you need to do is find some Fitz files. So this is pretty straightforward. So you want to download Fits files. Okay. Doop to doop to do to doop to do to doop to do. All right. So these sample fits files. Doop to do. Okay. Sample fits files. All right. Oh, this is scary looking. Um, I don't even know what this means. Okay. I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, download fits. Data files? Oh wait, hold on. So there's also this thing called the Fitz Liberator, which is again, like using someone else's code. I don't wanna do that. Sample downloads, link to archives. I think that's the one that I liked at Noir Lab. So yeah, okay, they had a bunch of stuff here. So kind of you gotta know a little bit of stuff about science whenever they take these pictures, is that um, to take any picture, like you've got red, green, and blue, and you take it with like technically three different filters, so sometimes you hear that these things are called um, false color images, but that's just like saying, you know, people who wear night vision goggles are looking things in false color, which I guess is true. Um, but, you know, I don't know if I would like go tell them that they're false color and they're still doing like legit stuff. Um, you're just looking at stuff that your eye can't see. So essentially they've collected this data in three different um, wavelengths. And so what you can do is you can um, plot those in RGB and then you can get um, stupid dops here. So it's pretty cool. So this isn't what you want because this is like the Photoshop file. Um, but if you look like the Fitz files got like a lot more data in it than I have any idea what to do with. But if I was like, you know, a astronomy researcher person, I would be like, I can do stuff with this. So, okay, so I'm going to download all of it, do 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 do. Okay, so I got this in MATLAB. I'm gonna unzip it, and it's a pretty big file. And then I got my stuff. All right, so I got my three thinky donks, and they each are require unzipping. How fun for me! Unzip, and then I think each one of these. Okay, I'm just gonna paste all these back into the regular file. And I don't really need this anymore, so I'm gonna delete it, because I know where I can get it. Actually, I'm gonna keep that part just in case I screw something up. Okay, so I'm gonna save this as fits fun. Oops, no, cancel. I don't know what I just clicked. Um, fits files. Um, 
fun. Be careful you spell that correctly, Fitz fun. Um, oops, so this is Fitz Files. Um, the only thing that I had to really figure out, and I say this, but it took like, you know, seven and a half years, is um, there's a special MATLAB I.O. thingy that you have to like download, or it's a, I think it's a, I don't know, whatever it is. It's a, the, the, the folder of extra stuff that can do things. Anyway, this is the only like super, oh, I didn't actually put the file name. Doop, doop, I'm super smart. S-M-R-T. Okay, there we go. So this is going to open up my um, FPTR, and this is the FITS file. Um, this is just a file pointer, I think. And yeah, this isn't really helpful. Um, it's just a whole lot of weirdness. OK, so I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm going to Google um, FTPR, FTPR, FITS files, map. Lab. Okay. And open fits files. There's some documentation here somewhere. Open file, open file, and then image data. There we go. I can just read the image data like that. Okay, that was the thing I was missing. So image data. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to call these different data sets you know, whatever. So I'm just, let's just start with this for the moment. So this is my image data. Now, if I just do this again and I open this, what you're going to see is a ton of information. Okay. So it's zeros where we have no information. Sometimes it's NAN or INF when you have, or yeah, when you have no information, but then you've got um, wavelength data, I think. I'm not an astronomer. I just like to make things on the internet. So um, here's information. Okay. So basically, whenever you're going to um, make a picture online, you need to do things that are going to run from 0 to 255. And that's because 2 to the something is 256. 2 to the 8. Oops, that's an X. 2 to the 8 is 256. So if you have 8 bits in a byte, um, then that means the biggest number you can come up with is 255 if you start at zero. Anyway, they just decided a long time ago that we're going to range everything from zero to 255 when it comes to colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this data and we are going to range it from zero to 255 so that whenever we plot it, it's going to look better. So let me show you what happens if we try to do it now. We're going to do I am show image data and it's not going to be really pretty. See, there's our data. <laughs> and so basically, the zeros are um, black. And anything above one is a white. And then, yeah, that's basically what you've got here. So what we need to do is we need to scale everything down to um, zeros in between zero and one. So there's a couple of things we can do. Let's kind of play with it. So we'll kind of see things change. So first of all, image data, or hold on, let's find what the minimum value is, because maybe something got below zero for some reason. Um, so oh, thank you. I don't want all the little. So this is per row. Let's do min of the image data. We can do min of the min, and that works. OK. So there is apparently some kind of a value in my image data that's negative 12. And I don't know where it would be, but apparently it exists, you know. So so that's nice. I mean, good luck finding it, but this number exists somewhere. Okay, so we want to bring everything up to zero. So image data equals image data, not plus because we're subtracting. Okay, minus min value, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this again just to make sure. Oh, come on, girl. I can't spell. There we go. Okay. Let me... Okay, so if I do this, see if I put a, a plus sign here? Um, like, add, I'm going to add the minimum value. Then it would have made the minimum value worse. <laughs> so I did make that mistake the first time I did this, and I was like, why is it not working? Okay, so I got my everything is up to um, zero. And now what I want to know is 
what's the max value, uh, max of the max, and there's other ways to do that. I'm just not getting involved. Um, the max of the max, so everything goes up to like 2,000. So what I want to do is I want to divide this by the max value. Okay, and now everything should go between zero and one. Yeah, so my min value should now be zero, and my max value should now be one. Come here, girl, why aren't you? Oh, because I'm suppressing it. Min value is zero, max value is one, okay. Now I need to scale it up to 255, so I'm just gonna go times 255. Beautiful, got it? Okay, um, there's a couple of things that this can happen to, and just in case you have downloaded a different set of data, um, you might wanna do something that says like, um, like, I don't know, how did I do this? Like pick some and find where the image data is in a n. So if something is in a n data, because this happened to me when I was playing with other information. This one didn't have any not a numbers, but um, then I did find some that did have not a number. So find if is not a number, find all of those, and then um, I think I did that after I set this, actually, I did it right here, um, because I wanted to do it after I shifted. So um, after I do the shifting, if anything is not a number, then I want to set image data at those locations to zero. So if anything is not a number, I want to set it to zero. Does that make sense? So. Um, and again, I didn't run into a lot of NANs, but whenever I did, then whenever you start dividing NANs by values, then you get infinities and then weird things happen. So I think, oh, except it's in is little nan. Okay, so this should, yeah, see it says these is nothing. There's nothing in this code that's not a number. Um, and I don't even know how to fix that if I wanted to. But so this should work for anything that I can have anticipated already. Okay, now let's see what happens if we go and try to plot this. Um, oh, apparently I've been plotting it this whole time. <laughs> this is beautiful. That's in no way what I was looking for. Did I mess it up here? No, because that wouldn't have done anything. Divided by max value times 255, I am show image data. Um, color map, jet. Well, there you go, there's something. I feel like this is not what I was going for. All right, so let's see what else I can do. Let's make this number a little bit smaller and see if that changes our picture. Holy mackerel, that changed our picture. Like a lot. Okay, so now we get to have the fun of what do we do with science. Okay, so let's look at what's going on with this image data. So see how everything is percentages all the way up to 255. So if we apparently went, oh, I know what's happening. Okay, that's okay. What if I just do, I'm just gonna leave it like that for the moment. Okay, now another thing you might notice is that our data is sideways. You know, whenever you normally picture the pillars of creation, um, you picture it uh, rotated. But that's easy to fix. We can just say the image data is image data transposed. And, uh, and there we go. Okay, I did a color map jet just to kind of change the color. You can also change it to spring. Look, we have a pretty picture. But what you need to remember is this is just the um, pillars of creation at a specific um, wavelength. Okay, so we have three wavelengths that we wanna put this into. This is where things kinda go off the rails, so <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So this is what I wanna do. I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna be like, if this is all you wanted to do is like, check it out, I made my own Pillars of Creation um, map. Awesome, great, uh, but I'm gonna make a second video and uh, show you how to do it with all three.